Hey guys, Kirk here from Acid Bite, and today I want to show you our Torn Film Transition Package. If you use the transitions in this package, you can make effects like this. Alright guys, let's get into this package. So, when you import everything that you downloaded into Premiere, you're going to have these series of eight folders and one sound effects folder. Inside each of these folders, you're going to have a Luma mat and a torn film asset. And each of these assets is going to be shot in 4K UHD. What we did was we took real Kodak film and we scratched on them with knives and used various methods to sort of destroy the footage to give you this cool variety of transitions. Um, there's a whole bunch of different options in here, different looks. Some have a little bit of color in them, vertical, horizontal. So let's see how we actually use these. What we're going to do is we're going to take our first piece of footage and move it up a layer. Then we want to come in here and using the folder that you like, you're going to grab the Luma mask and put that on top of the footage at the end of the cut where you want the transition to take place. Now, since I'm using HD footage and the Luma mask is a 4K asset, I'm going to go up here to my scale and scale that down by 50%. Then you can take your second piece of footage and line it up with the start of the Luma mask. And after that, I'm going to grab my torn film asset and place it on top. And one more time with this torn film asset, because it's 4K, I'm going to go up here and scale it down by 50%. So in each of the torn film layers, it's going to tell you here in the title uh, the blending mode that you want to use. So in this case, it's screen. So I'm going to go up here, change that to screen. So after I have my torn film layer added, I'm going to go down to my first clip and make a cut right at the start of this transition. And then there's only going to be one effect that you need, and that's going to be the track mat key. And I'm going to take that track mat key and I'm going to add it onto this first piece of footage. But one thing that you guys need to be aware of, if you're using maybe 4K footage in an HD timeline and you've scaled that footage down, or really if you've used any of your motion controls on this clip, you need to nest that clip before you add the track mat key. So I'm going to grab my track mat key, drop it on here. Now in the track mat controls, you want to set the, the mat target to video 3. And I'm doing that because my Luma mask is on the video 3 layer. So if yours is on a different layer, you're going to just want to choose the corresponding one that goes with the Luma mask. After that, I'm going to set the composite mode to Matt Luma, and now you're going to start to see that you have the transition working. If you want to reverse the direction of the transitions, so in this case, to make it come from right to left, all you need to do is go into your torn film, reverse the speed, go into your Luma mask, also reverse the speed, and then on your footage layer, you want to come into your track mat key controls and hit reverse. So now the transition has switched. And if you want to sweeten up this transition even more, we have included a whole folder of sound effects. And there's one for each of the eight transition folders. Um, I'm just going to grab that, pull it into my timeline, and you'll see that the sound effect layer is a little bit longer than the transition and that's on purpose because you sort of want to have a little bit of anticipation of the transition that's about to happen and then there'll be a little bit of reverb at the end you don't want your sound effect to just start and end directly at these cuts so in the end you have a beautiful torn film transition that gives your footage just kind of analog vibe scratched up film it's really cool. Ton of options in here. And that's all you need, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for downloading. See you next time.